Okay. So this is what is, uh, this is the whole tentacle system. You have a tentacle sink. These are two time code boxes, uh, one for A camera, one for B camera. And this is an audio recorder that is also time code synced to these and the cameras um, so that you can have a backup audio recorder. It's really useful on hunts or if somebody's in a machine like if Jesse or Rico or somebody's going on a snow machine somewhere and you have a GoPro on there, you can have this audio recorder going so that you can be recording uh, whatever they're saying or if anything happens or you can have them do kind of like a, a riding OTF. So uh, let me get into a little bit about how to set these up. Um, the tentacle sinks, you turn them on, you just hold this little thing down on the side to light up. Same with it with the recorder, hold it down until it starts flashing. Next thing you're going to do is go onto your iPhone, go to, uh, your, there's two apps that you're going to need. One's got a little octopus, one's got a little uh, slate on it. It's called Tentacle Time Bar and Tentacle Setup. You open Tentacle Setup and you're going to see we've got A cam, we've got B cam, and we've got the audio recorder here. So everything is basically set up. There will be a document about what the settings should be, but everything's set up. All you have to do to jam all these things is hit sync. Make sure you got your right frame rate, 2997 drop frame. It's set to time of day, start, one, two, three, bam. Uh, you're synced. Everything is good, or now everything's good. Uh, once these are all green, that means everything is synced. What you're seeing here in the audio recorder is uh, my levels from, from this. So then it's really simple. You just take a cable for each of the tentacles. These are uh, BNC cables. It just plugs into the top of each one. There's these little clips to make sure that they stay plugged in. Be careful you don't lose these. They're easy to lose, but they're pretty important to just hold that connection together. Uh, this has Velcro built into the back of it, so you can just stick it anywhere on the camera. Um, I don't have a C300, but it's the same with any camera. Stick it right there, and then you just take your BNC and put it on time code, and then just make sure that the camera is set to uh, receive time code in. So what I do is I put one of these on A and B camera. If you are also using C camera and that needs to be jammed, um, you can just temporarily plug this into C camera. It'll jam and it'll run the internal clock and then you unplug it and do it just like you were jamming two cameras. Together. The way this all works, so you have your tentacle on your camera your A and B cam are jammed. You can see the time code. That time code is jammed, so it's gonna match with what you're seeing in the setup app. Um, now we use the other Tentacle Time Bar app. And when you open Tentacle Time Bar, this is what you see. You can make it light or dark. Uh, it doesn't really matter. And it is reading via Bluetooth the time code that is on the tentacles. So you have it right here. It matches. They're perfectly jammed. So what this does now, anytime you roll a GoPro or a drone, and I would say anytime because this really helps the editors know where the clips fit in the timeline when they're stringing everything out. Um, when you hit record, this GoPro doesn't work because it's 10 years old, but when you hit record, just the first couple of seconds, every time you roll a GoPro, just open the time bar app and shoot that little bit of time code so it's at the beginning of the clip. Then they know they can easily sync the time code in post to the GoPro, and then that GoPro can fit right where it needs to go. And it doesn't really matter if you have audio synced with it or not, but it also opens up a lot of creative opportunities just using these two tools. As long as you have that time code shot on this GoPro and it's easy to see, and then you have synced audio on this, uh, you can imagine it gives you a lot of opportunities 
to, uh, you know, have some kind of sound bites and stuff in a different, different set. Okay, with the track E, um, the functionality of this is really pretty simple. That's the beauty of it. Uh, in settings, you want to go in and you want to make sure you're on 48 kilohertz, 32 bit float. And what that is, is uh, that's like a super high resolution audio. So basically you don't have to set levels. Post can recover it. It's never over or under modulated. Um, so it's pretty much a plug, play and forget sort of situation. The only thing that you need to be aware of is where you mount this mic and, you know, clothing noise. But uh, what I did, what I have done in the last two legs is any time, like on a hunt especially, is really useful, or any time where things might be a little chaotic or somebody might get far away or they're traveling, I just double mic them. I put this on and I just roll it the whole time because then you know that you have backup audio in case something happens uh, with your wireless setup. So anyway, 48 kilohertz, 32-bit float, and then to start, stop recording, you just press start, now it's rolling. Um, again, don't worry. Even if these are super over-modulated like that, it doesn't matter. It's it's easily fixable. Um, so you don't have to worry about the, the levels. You can just leave that kind of in the middle is probably a good way to do it. And then to stop, you just hold for two seconds and it's done. So everything is jammed and you're good to go. Just make sure, uh, you know, I'll, there'll be a settings document that'll tell you about the settings on these. Make sure those are right. And uh, you're off to the races.